Hi there, this is Steve. This is Jeremy. We're the Alabama Gamers. Bringing you the PlayStation Drop Top 10 list for the week of September 12th, 2017. What do we got this week? All right. This week, uh, we got 22 titles releasing. Uh, we got 21 of them coming out digitally and uh, six coming out on retail. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we got one for the PS PlayStation 3. We got two for Vita, three for uh, VR. We have one that was dropped before we could even research it. So it's it got bumped out. Um, number one, and this is in no order other than alphabetical, like they're listed on the PlayStation Drop blog, is Bloody Zombies. Bloody Zombies is a PlayStation 4, PlayStation VR game. It's a digital release. Uh, the price is on release, but the rating is mature. It's developed by Paw Print Games, and it's a brawler. Okay. The description says... Fight the undead plague across the ruins of London using refined, free-form combat, taking down a variety of mutated zombies. Okay, It feels like Double Dragon with a four-person co-op instead of two. Mm -hmm. Okay, It's set in London, and it's on the VR, but it's for four players. Yeah, it looks like a great beat-em-up. Uh, the action of it flows pretty well through mm -hmm. the what we saw in the trailer it reminds me kind of like metal slug but without guns you've got yeah. swords you're hacking away mm -hmm. a little hack and slash action going there and i tell you what's really unique and why really why this deserves to be on this list because it's not necessarily the best looking mm -hmm. game but it they have taken vr integration to another level and the fact that i could play on vr you could play on playstation 4 and we can play together mm -hmm. Okay, but not just that. Let's say that I'm on VR and you're on the PlayStation. Mm -hmm. Well, if I look up, I can see things that you can never see. Mm. So you're actually incentivized to have at least one player on the team using VR, and that is unique. That's a good way. You know, I was so glad that PlayStation's not banning the VR. You know, yeah. they're really standing behind it. And games like this that incentivize using VR is what it's all about. Okay, um, so on the social aspect, you got four player co op online. You can get your other two or other four or all three, uh, mm -hmm. I should say, from online. And also, they have trophies. Mm -hmm. Trophy support. All right, number two, Death or Dishonor. Excuse me, <laughs> Dishonor. Number two is Dishonor, mm -hmm. uh, Death of the Outsider. And Dishonor, great games. If you've not already tried them out, try them. Sharp. This is the one that we'll give a solid buy to mm -hmm. because the whole game system is great. I love the second one, love the first one. Solid mm -hmm. studio, but that's the did it. Mm -hmm. You know them from Doom and Wolfenstein. Everything is great. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks, I mean, uh, well, anyway, let me. It's a PlayStation 4 game, but it's also for the PSV. It's also for the PlayStation. Let's go down a little bit. Yeah. Yes, it's just PlayStation 4. I apologize. Uh, mm -hmm. It's the pricing, uh, it's a bit different. It's $29.99, uh, but it's $59.99 for the Deluxe Edition. I'm not sure exactly what the Deluxe Edition comes with. I think it does come with a theme and then the original Dishonored game. Mm. So, um, and then it's $24.99. For just the game on Amazon. So you save five bucks by going to Amazon, obviously, with the pre order that we also Yeah, and we would always recommend going to Amazon to get mm -hmm. your stuff there. Especially pre orders. Mm -hmm. The rating is M for Mature. The developer is Bethesda of Doom, Elder Scrolls, Fallout, all the good stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, they're a solid, solid studio. The genre is a first person action with or without stealth. Right, and so you don't always, a lot of folks don't like to play stealth. They like yeah, I mean, you can go in there and you can try, in, in both games too, it's. It's tough both ways. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got to be quick, you've got to be fight, and if you're stealth, you've got to be stealthy. You cannot let any little movement, you got your little meter, so yeah. Like that. The uh, description uh, says From the award winning developers of an arcane studios comes Dishonored, Death of the Outsider, the first standalone adventure in the critically acclaimed Dishonored series. Be a badass supernatural assassin and take on the role of notorious Billy Lurk as she reunites with her mentor, Dodd in order to pull off the greatest assassination ever conceived. And I put, it feels like Dishonored uh, 2, but with more gear and more power for Billy. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a one-player game with trophy support. And I imagine what they're going to do is they're going to focus a lot more on the powers that you get from the runes and things like that. Yeah. In it. So. Looks good. I mean, I watched a 45-minute uh, play-along, and it, it's sharp. I mean, it really does look good. Mm -hmm. um, number three, interesting game, interesting game. Yeah. Maze. Definitely. It looks really cool. I mean, it does really, look cool, and it looks like you at least have a good time mm -hmm. just watching it. Because yes. from the trailer, it seems like uh, go ahead and tell them who the hero is. All right, so well, the hero. Okay, well, 
Uh, first of all, let me, let me, it's a PlayStation 4 game. It's a digital release, which is kind of sad. Like, I would, I would buy this, a physical copy of this. Uh, the price is unreleased. The rating is M for Mature. It's made by Finish Line Games. The only one that they, the only other game they did that I know of right offhand is Cell Damage. Okay. Um, the genre is a first person adventure game with puzzles. Okay. The description says Maze is what happens when two scientists misinterpret a memo from the U.S. government and end up creating a uh, sentient corn. And do we mention the angry, condescending Rush, Russian robotic teddy bear or the unhinged albino corn stock with an underbite? <laughs> uh, it's a lot to take in. Oh, and I put, it feels like a crazy Russian Ted from the movies, Ted, okay, who's dressed in a Teddy Rockspin outfit, uh, who solves puzzles, and works with corn, whose intentions are unclear. Mm -hmm. He's got him a backpack, and I think just from the dialogue, from the thing, mm -hmm. that you're gonna have fun watching him interact with. Absolutely, there's a lot of cutscenes. Mm -hmm. It's clear there's a lot of cutscenes. It's called, I we call they call it an adventure game. I think it's more of a puzzler, uh, but it does look interesting. And it's that little bear is a sassy Russian mm -hmm. little, little bear for sure. Um, so that's it for that. Maze looks mm -hmm. good. Check it out. At least watch the trailer and of. Always, when we do the PlayStation Top 10, we'll have the trailer for every game that's releasing this week, whether we chose it or not, down below in the comment section. So feel free to go and check those out. Number four, brace yourself. Sports games are coming. Yep. Over there. NASCAR Heat for the PlayStation 2, or PlayStation 4. Uh, it we're, is, we're going way back, guys. I know, right? It's a digital and retail uh, it's forty nine ninety nine right now. It's thirty nine ninety nine on Amazon pre order. Uh, it's rated E for everybody. It's made by Monster Games. They did. They've done several driving games. They've done several NASCAR games. But one of the games they did that I liked the most was Donkey Kong Country. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. of course, right. So obviously the genre is a driving simulator. The description <clears> says <throat> NASCAR Heat Two brings the most authentic and intense stock car and truck racing of all time. And it looks great. I mean, it looks like you're watching a race. It looks good. I I call it. NASCAR Heat 1.5 mm -hmm. uh, because anytime you take a game and just refine it a little bit uh, which is exactly what most of these sports games have been doing um, it just looks a little bit better or there's more options and more of this more of that than the before how much are you going to do to a NASCAR game anyway I mean they, they yeah. turn that's it they go in a circle there's uh, 30 you can play against 30 other people I guess 29 plus you so lots of online yeah. stuff but which you know makes me nervous um, anyway number 5 and number 6 are essentially the same game, different franchises. That is NBA Live 18 and NHL 18. Okay, both are coming out only mm -hmm. on PlayStation 4. Uh, both are digital and retail. Um, the pricing is different. The NBA Live 18 is $59.99 for digital. Um, I couldn't find it on Amazon for some weird reason. It's not available. And then it's $40.19 if you buy it soon on the PlayStation Store. They're having a special for everyone, not just for Plus members, where it's 4019 for the one edition. Uh, the NHL 18 is 59, 79, and 99, depending on what version you get, okay? Uh, the latter two are the Young Stars editions. Mm -hmm. um, it looks great, you know, they come a long way from yeah. when we were kids, but it still looks very similar to NHL 17. Uh, yeah. So, uh, they're both made by EA. They're both sports games. They're so, both you know you're going to get a solid game just because it's from EA. But so is it worth Is it worth the extra? Is it worth it, the If break? you're the basketball fan, mm -hmm. yes. If you're a hockey fan, yes. Yeah. If you're me and you, no. Nah, not, not so really. much. Mm -hmm. You know, we're casual fans. We might watch a basketball game once it hits the playoffs, but that's just – that's if you're there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the next one is Pro Evolution Soccer 2018. Now, so I've included this for several reasons. First of all, this used to be the FIFA killer. Before yeah. FIFA really took over, Pro Evolution Soccer by Konami was just the bomb. I mean, that's what people played. Uh, what's interesting about this game? Look at that. <laughs> They're dropping way back. Dropping so a game. So if you guys have not gotten rid of your PS3 and haven't upgraded to PS4, you can play. We get you a game this week. That's right. Yeah. There is one game for the PlayStation 3 this week, and this is it. It's a digital release. There is no retail, which of course is different from FIFA, where everybody loves a retail. Okay. Yeah. Um, the price is fifty nine ninety nine, which to me is high, but whatever. And it's sixty nine ninety nine for the Barcelona edition. Yeah, I think it's way too high uh, because there's FIFA out there. Mm -hmm. 
because you're soccer fans, yeah, they've already bought that. But listen, if you like soccer, there's a free demo. Mm-hmm. Go download it, play it for free, and see what you think. It's mm-hmm. rated E for everyone. Obviously, Konami Digital did it. It's a sports game. The description says, where legends are made encapsulates the return of PES, or Pro Evolution Soccer, mm-hmm. with new features, modes, and an unparalleled gameplay experience. Now, on this game, we don't typically do this, but on this game, if you look below in the comments, obviously you found the trailer. Before that, or right after that, excuse me, you'll find another um, link. The second link compares FIFA and Pro Evolution Soccer side by side, mm-hmm. so you can really see where you're at, which one you like. Okay, um, for fifty nine nine nine, unless I was a huge soccer fan, which I know there are a lot, I would have to yeah. pick one. I mean, I'm not buying two. For, no, yeah. and it's going to be the, the the one that everybody else is playing because mm-hmm. if you're going to play it, you're going to want to play with your friends. You're going to be the only guy with a PS. I mean, absolutely, only guy with the PS. PlayStation Three. Good. Yeah. All right. Next up is a most interesting game, Tooth and Tail for the PlayStation Four. It's a digital release, which is weird because I thought it was going to be a retail. I thought they're going to have a retail. It's been around for a little bit on Steam, I think. Um, if the price is $19.99, or if you're a PlayStation Plus member, you get it for $17.99. The rating is E, which actually shocked me too. I thought it would at least be, I thought it would be mature or teen. Mm-hmm. But I think they probably scaled back some blood just to get it in the E category. Uh, it's developed by uh, Pocket Watch Games. They did uh, Venture Africa, Venture Arctic, and they did a game called Monaco. Um, those were all Steam games. Uh, the genre is a risk-like strategy guide. By the way, I make up all these genres, right? Unless it's JRPG, I just make it up, whatever it feels like to me. Uh, The description says, lead the revolution with an army of flamethrowing boars, mustard gas lobbying skunks, and paratrooper puking owls. Tooth and Tail is a real-time strategy game featuring single-player play, online competitive play, split screen, and more. So this seems like to me that it should be more of a phone like it's one of those type games right like i don't think a phone tower defense yeah kind of games yeah but maybe more expansive mm-hmm. is that what it is okay. because it kind of part of it did remind me of clash of clans which oh. i wasn't a huge fan of but yeah. a lot of people love it so uh build a base lead your army <clears throat> eat your enemies right and there i tell you what's really interesting about this game is that the story right it has this story that's reminiscent of um Marxism that they almost feels like it was ripped from the pages of the Orwellian classic uh, Animal Farm, right? So the story is really a lot deeper than what the gameplay looks like, right? So I'm in it for the story. Um, social from the social aspect, it's one to four players. You get your other three online. Yeah. I don't think there's any co-op. Well, since we, I guess there's going to be a co-op. Yeah. I put what it feels like is the secret of Nim. You remember that cartoon? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. With tones of Marxism in the Book of Animal Farm. So just what I said. Uh, number nine is Trulon, the Shadow Engine. This is the first sequel coming off the Trulon books. Um, it's a digital release coming out for PlayStation 4. The price has been unreleased, but it's rated E for everyone. Okay, the developers are KYY Games. They've done um, several games. One of the most notable is Knights of the Knights of Pen and Paper, mm-hmm. right? Uh, the description says, Dive in a Trulon, the Shadow Engine, featuring a unique card combat system that combines traditional deck management with random elements. Uh, the tactics are intu- intuitively activated uh, using more than 50 cards in an easy-to-play way. And it did look like that when you actually watch mm-hmm. a lot of gameplay. Yeah, and it looked, you know, fairly good. Mm-hmm. I mean, the... Uh Animation and everything look yeah. pretty smooth. The card it's system is unique, everything. and that's why I made it on this list. People, mm-hmm. when you watch other people play it, um, they are really excited about the card game, mm-hmm. you know, which led me to be excited about it. I put it feels like a D and D set in a steampunk world, which you know there's a lot of steampunk fans out there, um, and it utilizes, the, of course, the unique card battle system. Mm-hmm. Uh, it does look great. It sounds great too. The sound is good. Uh, next up is Ease Eight, uh, Lacrimos of Donna. Right. Congratulations. Knuckles. Thank you, sir. I worked on that one. Let me we tell got, you. We got to pick one that's just terribly hard to pronounce every single time. I should have never chose this game. This game, really, this game is the, the fans of this franchise are rabid. They mm-hmm. love this game. This game is beast. It really is. It looks beautiful. If there was a Zelda, Zelda killer, mm-hmm. this would be it. I'm telling you. However, the whole thing is in Japanese. The whole thing. To watch Americans play it, they like stumble through the words or whatever, but the story is good. The music is beautiful and melodic. I mean, but it is entirely in Japanese, and I 
have nothing for that. Like, yeah. Not, I would not waste one minute of my time outside of looking at the trailer and wishing that I could play it. Right? Yeah. So, um, it's a digital and release, of course. Uh, the price is fifty nine ninety nine, which is about ten bucks higher than they normally are. Um, it's forty seven ninety nine on Amazon pre order. There is a free demo, so if you want to try it and see, I wonder if I can kind of feel my way through it. Go play the pre order or the demo, see if you like it. Uh, it's rated T for Teen. Uh, the developers are NIS. They've done several um, Japanese JRPG games, including Tokyo Tattooed Girls, which is interesting. It raved people really loved it. Uh, the genre, of course, is a JRPG. It says Ease returns with a brand new adventure for the first time in eight years. Adol awakens shipwrecked and stranded on a cursed island. There, he and the other shipwrecked passengers he rescues from form a village to challenge fearsome beasts and mysterious ruins on the isolated island. So you got Ease, and he's on an island. He just wakes up and he gathers with the locals, and they kind of. Uh, uh, form a team to fight the wildlife and the beasts of the island, right? I put, it feels like a beautiful Fantastic Four, or excuse me, uh, Final Fantasy game, uh, except it's, it's faster and it's quicker. The soundtrack is beautiful. Uh, I watched a lot of play on it. Um, it looks really good. Not for me. Yeah. For yeah. Me. Um, honorable mention is a double pack of games. Okay, so we got... Um, these are being released on a physical copy. These are games that have been out for a while. Mm -hmm. Inside and Limbo. Inside, of course, and Limbo, both of them, are those 2D platformer games that have been critically rave reviewed. People absolutely love They've won probably over 200 awards. Yeah, just uh, looking at all the, the reviews, level. they're all 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10. Whatever their scoring system is. It's ridiculous, yeah. yeah. I mean, people love these games. I'm so glad. The reason I made honorable mention is because, I'll tell you what they could have done, is they could have ran them on that limited run games where they just make a few games and let people duke it out mm -hmm. on eBay, yeah. but they didn't, right? So they have a physical copy that you can go to Walmart, you can go to Amazon and pick up. Mm -hmm. You don't have to stay up all night to go to limited runs and buy it from them, and I love it. I love it. So, I I still haven't had a chance to play it. Mm. Super excited, and this will probably be the time I pick it up. I'm yeah. rare. Rarely do I buy the digital games. Like I feel like if it's really good, they can make a retail mm -hmm. copy, which is probably poor of me. But that's just what I do. So, what do you think? What are your solid buys? This solid week? buy, Dishonored. Dishonored. That's, that's going to be the one uh, that I'd say the solid buy. If you're mm. sports guy, you can check out those sports games. I'd say NBA Live is probably going to be the biggest one yeah. of them. But Dishonored would be my. Go out and get that. What I'm looking forward to, and this is a digital game, so I'm, I'm backstepping here, is Maze. Maze looks really yeah. interesting. You got a mouthy little teddy bear uh, with these corn. Uh, they almost are like lemmings, but they have a motive, and you know, like they're they're, mm -hmm. they're acting blank to you. I mean, but just watch something. the trailer, guys. Yeah. Watch the trailer, Maze. Yeah. All right, well, that's it for this week. That is our, what we think are the 10 best PlayStation games that are coming out this mm -hmm. week. All right, so uh, from Alabama, see you guys later. See you guys later. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Let us know what you guys are thinking. There if you, you checked go. out some of these games, leave us a comment. We'll talk about it. All right, roll time. Roll time.